Today we have this 1968 Smith Corona Super Sterling Vintage Portable Typewriter. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. The margins are located right here and right here. And you just push them down and move them with the thumb. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. I hit the line space, get you back to the beginning and skips one, two, or three spaces. Right now we have it on single. But if you want double, you just flip this switch back one and skip two. One more and skip three. Works good. As you can see, all the keys type nice and none of them skip or stick. Type a sentence on the next line. Very nice typing machine. Consider this a daily typer. Print looks really good too. It's an overall well-made machine, made in America. Very popular color too. Pull the paper out easy. You can flip this switch forward and it pulls right out. Also allows you to load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock when you flip that forward. Make sure you flip it back or else you won't be able to load the next page correctly. Backspace on the left works good. Tab function. Um, this will stop at any tab you set. And to set a tab, you just hit the set button right there. And then hit the tab, it'll stop at that spot that you set it. To clear it, hit the CL button. And now we shouldn't have any tabs. It goes all the way to the end and you can set as many tabs as you want on this model. A shift on each side and a shift lock on the left side to clear it. You just hit the shift button again. This is your touch control, low, medium, and high. Top is low, bottom is high, and that loads the spring. Uh, increasing or decreasing the tension on how you hit the keys. Low, you don't have to hit the keys as hard. High, you got to hit them a little harder. Open the hood. You got your spools and your ribbon direction control is right here. The switch on the left. Right now we have all the brand new ribbon loaded on the left side, so it's pulling to the right. And if you want to switch your direction, you just flip that switch back and it'll pull to the left. Switch it forward and it'll pull to the right. This is your color selector switch. Right now we have a full black ribbon, but if you want, if you have a black and red ribbon, you just slip, switch that down to red and it'll hit the bottom portion of the ribbon. This is your carriage release lever. You got one on each side, works good. And this function, on the left side here, there's a little lever. And if you push that down, you will disable your spacing mechanism. It still clicks, but it won't space. You switch it up and now you got each one as a space. And that's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy, search Brooksaw Antiques.